want to know, do you remember the first time you heard your song on the radio? And what was that moment like? The I first time what? You heard your song on the radio. Oh. I was, I'm sorry. I was working at Benetton. Shout out to Benetton. And um, I was folding clothes. I was at the Red Wow. I got a no. phone. My girlfriend calls and says, turn the radio on. I said, what? I turned the no. radio on. I started jumping up and down while the floor. So that was great. You didn't quit? <laughs> I had been on tour. We were doing all this kind of craziness and everything. And it took about a year and a half for the song to be brought out here in the States because it was released overseas. And that's how everybody started hearing it. The DJs out there brought it here. Anyway, long story short, they had to call full force and get me out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> First yeah. time we heard my song, uh, we did the same thing. We wanted to make sure that we broke the record in Europe first. Mm. I was driving a car. I was driving this Mercedes because I was like, come live the glamorous life, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I'm driving this Mercedes that I rented. I'm driving down Sunset Boulevard, getting ready to make a left by the Laugh Factory, which is where Gelson's, uh, there's a Gelson's Deli. And I'm getting ready to make a left. The two lanes that are coming this way, towards me were back to, you know, uh, bumper to bumper traffic. I'm getting ready to make a left to go up to the corner. And that third lane is where you're supposed to park, where the parking meter's on. Well, no, my song comes on like, <laughs> and the car hits me. I The car hits my car because the third lane, people are supposed to be parking after five o'clock or whatever it is. That person, this guy hit me in the Mercedes while Glamour Life is playing on the radio. First time I heard it, and the top was down. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh my God. He gets out of the car and said, are you all right? He said, yeah, are you okay? And I'm like, oh my God. And I was like, that's me on the radio. That's me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got into it after. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. I was in Hollywood too. It's funny she should say that. I, was, I remember Hollywood and Vine making a right turn and turn it full full 10. And to this day, if a song, you know, I listen to Sirius XM a lot, but I still, I turn it up on 10 and I get the same enthusiasm as I'm sure yeah. we all do. Yeah. yeah. Rita, yeah. how was your, um, how did you get your first break, your big break in acting, what was it? Uh, well, look, we had a screening. I saw the um, first episode after the pilot, and I went and bought a, a Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> got the burning action. Yeah, I was tired of. I love it. Right, I was tired of being on skates. So I was tired. <laughs> I love that. I love that show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Me too. What was it like working with Bernie Mac? And can you share anything with us, with the viewers? They, they love to hear. We all miss him so much. It was fantastic. He was amazing. He's an era of a man that's just gone. He's just a different particular type of man. Like Sheila's uncle, Bobby, they dress to the nine. Like <laughs> pants up, belt, creases, shirts tucked in. They made sure their jewelry shine, even if it was one piece or if it was seven pieces. <laughs> You know, it was cologne. It could be 5 a.m. in the morning and they were ready for whatever. Right. We don't have that today. It was an era of a man. Yeah. It, it was different times, but I, I hope those times come back, though. I kind of miss all of that. We do. Sheila, you have, you have Let new me music. Try it. <laughs> Say it again? Sheila, you have new music, correct? Uh, I do have a new song called Lemon Cake that uh, came out uh, a few weeks or so ago. Yeah. Uh, you got it? Oh, thank you, ladies. Uh, yeah. I was like, who are you singing about? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> we need to come You and me, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sheila. <laughs> I've seen you perform live. You are such a badass. Like, you really are. Like, I'm... Um, Amazing live, like and yeah, I'm I'm definitely yeah. Here. Lisa, were you saying something? I'm I'm excited. I'm just excited because she. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm I'm fangirling right now. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm with Lisa. Yes. <laughs> we're, 
what I was going to say was not just lemon cake I have put out, but because of what's happening in our country right now, again, uh, my album Iconic has resurfaced. And so those songs that during the, during the time that I did the record, I did it because of the election that was happening at the time, which mm. became this, what we have now. And I, want, I had a, um, a, a little thing that, uh, in my archives that said, politically correct, that I wanted to write this album because people know me for fun, dancing, blah, blah. I wanted to write. I needed something that I needed to talk about. Mm. Anyway, long story short, I ended up going to back and finding songs that I grew up listening to in the 60s and the 70s, which was Marvin Gaye. So we did Inner City Blues with Trouble Man. We did uh, Everyday mm. People with um, uh, Freddie Stone. We did uh, Uncle George Clinton. We did One Nation Under God, well, One Nation Under Group. Ah. We released the Yes We Can Cam from the Pointer Sisters because that was on the record. And we did Funky National Anthem, which is the national anthem, James Brown style, which has Barack Obama, John F. Kennedy, um, Martin Luther King, uh, their speeches in this. And this has repurposed <laughs> because it's relevant. And those songs really mm. spoke to me then. And they speak to uh, most of us now. So that's how. We, we got about one minute left. I, I, I got to ask you about any fond memories of Prince. I know you had a special bond with him. And we, you know, I, I definitely got to ask about Prince and your bond with Prince. What was he like? Uh, he was funny, um, a romantic, um, hardcore, like worked his butt off. Um, he loved the fans. He loved his music. We, I mean, together we wrote and played a lot of music. I mean, I met him in 1977 and we started playing and jamming from 1977 till pretty close to when he passed away. That's a lot of good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How Thank blessed. You. Awesome. Yeah. How blessed. Blessed. So so that's much history with all of you and yes. rap. I want to play, I want to celebrate Black Music Month with a game of Black Music Trivia. I'll ask you a trivia question and you try to give me the correct answer. Are you ladies ready? <clears throat> sure. I'm ready. I just, can I say one thing real quick? Yeah, sure. My current song is The Healing and it's time for The Healing. So carry on. Okay. <laughs> Amen. The Healing. <laughs> okay. Let's this go. Let's go. Okay, this thing had a sitcom that aired on NBC in 1992 that starred Morris Chestnut and Vivica A. Fox. Who is she? Taylor Bell, out all night. That's right. Yes. This pop star comes from a magical musical family and had a reoccurring role on the 1970s sitcom Good Times. Who is she? Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> This jazz icon performed in the South at, rally, at rallies for civil rights and participated in the 1963 March on Washington. This jazz icon, who is she? Who Nina is Simone? Simone? No. Uh, uh, um, um. Jazz icon. Jazz. What's her name? Lena uh, Horn. Lena Horn. Lena Horn. Oh. Oh. Today's a birthday, Lena too, Horn. I think. It would have been her birthday. That's, yeah, Lena Horn. Which album is Michael Jackson's best-selling album of all time? Who? Michael Jackson. Thriller. 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 Yep. Which gospel artist wrote Precious Lord, Take My Hand in 1932? Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. No. 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 Thomas Dorsey. Then her mama. Oh, really? Thomas Dorsey. Last one. Thomas Dorsey? Thomas Dorsey. Oh. This was and still is known as the Queen of Soul. Aretha. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> there we go. Ladies, I want to thank Jody Wiley, Sheila E, <laughs> Alita Smith for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you ladies taking the time to talk to us and sharing a little bit about your experiences and yourselves. I, I love to see more of you. We definitely got to support your new music, your project. And the yeah. stream is just, I'm not really feeling that half a cent thing, so we got to really support all of y'all. And really, you're on the game. You're hilarious and talented. I'm so proud of you. Bet you are going on a really low-budget film. Remember that? Long Listen, Gangs of Roses. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see y'all on the red carpet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, everyone, for watching us on the Fox TV mobile app. So, if you want to get your views on the changes you want to see in our communities, so go ahead and create a video no more than 60 seconds long and talk about how you feel about what's happening in the country and around the world. 
and hit the hashtag my voice my truth thank you so much for tuning in tonight